Although we may not realize it, we actually spend a large portion of our life trying to decode other people's nonverbal communication cues. These nonverbal cues come strictly from body language and make up almost 60% of how we choose to communicate with other people. For instance, the misconception is that your emotions are only given away from the expression on your face. This is not true. Rather, your entire body participates in showing or hiding how you are feeling and what your mental state is. It can be extremely hard to decipher, understand, or even control these unconscious cues. The first step is to understand that body language and nonverbal behaviors are complicated because how people present themselves and how they are seen by others varies from person to person and from one culture to another. With that in mind, let's look at three methods for understanding the body language. Method 1. Focusing in on attraction cues. When you are looking to see if an individual is attracted to you, there are a few steps that you can take. Number 1. Look at how they are choosing to make eye contact with you. If it is a steady stream of eye contact or if there is a lot of blinking involved, this can be a sign of attraction. If someone is predominantly looking away from you or are getting easily distracted by others, they may not be as attracted to you as you hoped. Keep in mind though, things like flirtatious winks or the batting of eyelashes can be culturally specific and may not always be a good indication to go on. Number 2. Take a look at facial expressions. The easiest one to understand and see is smiling or the raising of eyebrows. Keep in mind though, a genuine smile will reach a person's eyes, resulting in wrinkles appearing around the eyes. If this does not happen with whom you are talking to, it may be a forced smile. Number 3. Take a look at the posture, stand, and gesture of the individual. If they generally stand close to you, keep their feet pointed at you, or lean in towards you, all of these are signs of attraction. If someone lightly touches you or turns their palms up at you, it means that they are romantically interested. Number 4. Keep in mind that the different genders will use different nonverbal cues for attraction. Method 2. Understanding Relational Cues for relationship cues, take a look at the following. Number one, the distancing or touch will be apparent. Someone who is physically close and lightly touches you is showing affection or love. Those who are in a relationship will need less space between one another. Number two, evaluate how eye contact is being made. Someone who finds the person interesting or is attracted to them will maintain eye contact the majority of the time. The focus will primarily be on the eyes, but may move down the face and then back up towards the eyes. Number three. Finally, look at the posture of the person. If their limbs are open, hanging down, or resting behind the neck, it generally means that they are open to the conversation. If the limbs are crossed, it often means resistance and a closed off person both physically, mentally, and emotionally. Method three. How to understand power cues. Understanding power cues are really good for work environments. Take a look at the eye contact and see if dominance is being established. When one stares or surveys another with direct eye contact, they are asserting themselves. They often look away last as well. Number two, facial expressions will often be serious and the individual will refrain from smiling and even might purse their lips. Not only does this assert dominance, but it shows that they mean business. Number three, when it comes to stance and gestures, a dominant individual will use large stances to assert dominance. The position may be relaxed, but it will be tall and wide. They will also have a firm handshake that is sustained by placing their palms face down, hand on top. Number four, take a look at the personal space they utilize. For individuals who are emanating power, they will take up more physical space and will always allow more physical space to be between them and someone of lower status. They may assume a powerful pose, stand in front of others, throw their shoulders back, and keep their back straight. Number five, they may choose to touch more because they are comfortable with their position. For those who are of equal status, the touches will be reciprocated almost equally. One last thing to keep in mind is that every individual will have a baseline to which they will always revert to. For instance, someone who is shy may always keep their head down and their limbs closer to themselves than someone who is an extrovert. Getting to know a person through their habits and personality will help you in determining whether their body language is just reaction of their baseline or if it is actually the individual sending a message through abnormal behavior. There are a lot of other things that can indicate a meeting. Have you noticed something about your friend's body language? 
let us know in the comments below. Feel free to share other cool facts too.